2023 was a year that quietly took away some of the most influential figures in entertainment, art, and science. We lost several such luminaries, stars who shaped our world in ways we might not even realize. Let's get to know the seven big stars whose departures went largely unnoticed. But why did we miss their final curtain call? One of British television's most famous faces and the leading chat show host of Parkinson, who doesn't know Sir Michael Parkinson? His versatility as a presenter, broadcaster, and journalist has made him a global sensation. Mr. Parkinson graced our screen through BBC from 1971 to 1982. The show was later relaunched in 1998 and then moved to ITV in 2004. This show wasn't just a show, it was an era in British television. His chat show, simply titled Parkinson, spanned decades and hosted some of the biggest names in the world, from Muhammad Ali to Nelson Mandela. Can you guess the total number of interviews he conducted? Parky had interviewed 2,000 world-famous celebrities and recorded over 800 episodes. Can you just believe it? He also played a pivotal role in making comedian Sir Billy Connolly a household name. The Scottish comedian was interviewed in 1975, and the rest is history. And who could forget that interview with Meg Ryan in 2003? It was controversial, a bit awkward, yet unforgettable. For Mr. Parkinson, the most remarkable man he ever interviewed was Muhammad Ali. No argument there, right? In 2013, Parky shared his battle with prostate cancer, a fight he won two years later. But sadly, on August 16th, 2023, he left us, following a brief illness at the age of 88. Indeed, it's a big loss. Parkinson's role extended beyond a presenter, defining an era through his exceptional conversational skills. Parkinson was a brilliant interviewer, a witty host, and truly the greatest interviewer of our age. His legacy will forever be a part of television history. The one and only child of the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, Lisa Marie was the sole heir to her father's incredible legacy. Lisa Marie Presley became joint heiress to her father's estate with her 61-year-old grandfather after his death in August 1977. You can't believe what she inherited on her 25th birthday. Notably, Presley inherited an estate that has grown to a staggering $100 million. However, in 2004, she made a significant decision to sell 85% of her inherited wealth. Lisa Marie didn't just live in her father's shadow. She stepped into the spotlight with her own music career, scoring two U.S. Top 10 albums. She co-wrote several songs on her albums, collaborating with musicians like Glenn Ballard, T-Bone Burnett, and Elvis Costello. Marie was married four times to Danny Keough, Michael Jackson, Nicolas Cage, and guitarist Michael Lockwood. But life wasn't all glitz and glamour. She faced her share of tragedies, including the heartbreaking loss of her son, Benjamin Storm, in 2020. Curious about her death? Sadly, on January 12th, 2023, gorgeous Lisa Marie left us after a cardiac arrest at her home in Calabasas, California. She was just 54 at that time. Her family, friends, and her beloved children paid moving tributes. Her mother described her as the most passionate, strong, and loving woman I have ever known. Lisa Marie Presley is a name that will forever echo in the halls of music history. Recall the unforgettable Saturday night TV icon, the enigmatic and legendary Mystic Meg. Celebrated astrologer Margaret Lake secured her status as the most distinguished in the UK. Her rise to stardom began in 1994 when she started hosting the National Lottery Draw. Recall the captivating moments when Margaret Lake graced the screen, clutching her crystal ball and accurately predicting the victors of the weekly jackpot. It was a mesmerizing spectacle that made television history. Mystic Meg wasn't just a TV sensation. You've probably seen her face on a whole range of astrology-related books, illustrations, and astrology merchandise, captivating audiences worldwide. She also wrote daily horoscopes for the Sun newspaper for almost 23 years. Her words were a morning ritual for many. She was also a brand ambassador for Grand National, your guaranteed a fortune marketing campaign. Margaret Lake was living a mesmerizing life until this sad news came. 
Following a battle with flu, she passed away on the 9th of March, 2023, at the age of 80. Her legacy in astrology and television will shine on in the hearts of those who grew up watching her. We now honor the remarkable life and work of Sir Martin Louis Amos, a titan in the world of literature. He was an English novelist, essayist, memoirist, and screenwriter. Amos enriched the literary world with 15 novels, numerous short fiction collections, and compelling nonfiction works. Have you read any of his written masterpieces? Amos's talent was recognized with two Booker Prize nominations for his novel Time's Arrow and Yellow Dog. His memoir experience not only captivated readers, but also won the prestigious James Tate Black Memorial Prize. Sadly, on the 19th of May, 2023, Amos passed away from esophageal cancer at his home in Florida. It was a similar way that his father left us at the age of 73. Sir Martin Louis Amos will be remembered for literary brilliance. Before we continue, a quick pause. If the story of these remarkable individuals has touched you, hit that like button and subscribe for more profound insights into history's most impactful figures. Curious about the upcoming ones? Well, hold on, because they are so close to our hearts and lives. Let's talk about Glenda Jackson, a true powerhouse who conquered both Hollywood and the House of Commons. In 1970, Jackson stunned the world with her fierce performance in Women in Love, bagging the Oscar for Best Actress. And guess what? She did it again in 1973 with the romantic comedy A Touch of Class. Her trophy case didn't just stop at the Oscars. She also bagged two Emmys and a Tony. In 1992, Jackson took a bold leap into politics, driven by her passion for the working classes and her frustration with Margaret Thatcher's policies. Indeed, transitioning from stage to parliament required incredible boldness. Do you agree? In 2020, she joined films once again, winning a BAFTA for her portrayal of a woman with dementia in Elizabeth is Missing. She died at Blackheath Home on the 15th of June, 2023, at the age of 87, following a brief illness. Glenda Jackson was an actress, politician, and a trailblazer. She truly left an indelible mark in both the arts and politics. Euphoria-famed Angus Cloud was indeed a rising star whose light shone brightly, but briefly, in the world of television. He was best known for his portrayal of Fezco along Zendaya in the hit show. But did you know he was scouted for this iconic role while working in a restaurant in Brooklyn? Tragically, Angus's journey ended too soon. At just 25, he passed away from an accidental multiple drug overdose, leaving the world of entertainment in mourning. His legacy in Euphoria will continue to inspire many youngsters entering this field. Who could forget the iconic Karen that composed an ever-reliable concierge at the Continental? Lance Reddick's portrayal was a blend of elegance and mystery that captivated audiences worldwide. One of his achievements was his brilliant role in the crime drama The Wire, which ran for five seasons from 2002 to 2008. His performance there was nothing short of spectacular, leaving a lasting impact on the show's fans. Sadly, he left us too soon at the age of 60, passing away from heart disease. His sudden departure was a shock to us all. His co-stars from The Wire remembered him as a man of great strength and grace. Their heartfelt words remind us of the profound impact he had on those around him. As we remember those we've lost, let's not forget about those who had close calls. Rowan Atkinson, famously known as Mr. Bean, survived a near-fatal car accident, reminding us that even our biggest stars are not immune to life's uncertainty. Let's remember and honor those who have passed, for they greatly enriched our lives. Which death has shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time.